Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. If you're a new listener, uh, thanks for finding us. If you're a veteran, welcome back. Uh, Hans is here with us today again. Uh, he's our fearless leader. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what did they call me? Uh, oh, oh, the oh, cult leader. Cult leader. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. Fearless cult leader. Yeah, I'm, I'm Mr. Freedom. And, you know, yes. <laughs> somebody completely misjudged me, I guess. Some crazy guy on Facebook called him yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a yeah. cult leader. But today, well, it's a funny story, Hans. Before we recorded this episode, we uh, cooked some meat and, and uh, we had a great pork. Pork, yeah. Pork loin. Pork loin, yeah. It was great, man. It was good. And uh, yeah. my wife was there and all three of us. Uh, and I have two dogs, so uh, they were with us there. And uh, we were done with our food, and the dogs, for the most part, left us alone because I don't like them when they mooch at the table. And then, literally at the end, like the last piece of meat, Hans decides to give my dog a piece of meat. And I said, Hans, you like, you know, you're like the grandfather. Come over and then <laughs> leave. You know? Crazy uncle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, spoil the dog. And then he just leaves. I go, don't do that. You know. So then, but Hans kind of told us a little lesson about uh, what he's going to talk today about. Is is, is uh, I don't want to, you know, jump yeah, that's story right. here, but sharing basically. But yeah, yeah. well, you know, what's what? the what's your philosophy on on food and and giving food? Uh, yeah. Well, there's two distinct things in in in, in giving dog or three right that gives the dog food. The first one is just feeding the dog, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got to do that no matter what. Yeah. But but then the second one is to use treats for training. Okay. Yep. Which, you know, a lot of people do. I'm against personally, yep. right? There's a good because reason I behind it. I want the dog to work for me with me and because I said so and yep. not because they get cookie. I don't want to be pest dispenser for my dog. I tell that to people, pest dispenser, they look at me for a second and like, and they get it like, oh yeah, okay, that's me. Yeah, the dog pushes the lever <laughs> yeah. and uh, cookie come out. Right? Yeah, they get it right away. People. Well, yeah, that's a good example. That's what examples are good usually for. Uh, you, you, the analogy. You, the, yeah. yeah, you do some analogy and, and it, it clicks, oh, right? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, we can explain it for half an hour. But know, so, but, but you say you're just a pest dispenser. In other words, you don't matter. It's just you know, the, you're just spitting up, yeah. you know, pest yeah. cookies. Yeah. So that's two. Candies. Yeah. Right. So that's the second, second one. one. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I want the dog to work for you, with you, for pet and praise, right? Yeah. Right. But what happened today um, is that uh, I gave the dog food after we were done, and they didn't do anything, right? No. They just, they just kind of yeah. hung around. And uh, there is a thing which is called sharing, yeah. right? It's it's actually uh, like a psychology of the pack, right? So yeah. so you, you 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 give the dog food, but there is no no. Uh, it's not a reward for um, some kind of obedience. Yeah, it's just you just give it to them, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you, I, I, I already said many times, I like to go to wolf, right? So, so imagine wolf or, or lion with his pride, I guess it's called, right? Or wolf with his pack. Yeah. They kill a deer or antelope or whatever. And the, um, the, 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 who eats first, right? The boss, the leader. Yep. Oh, or the yeah. pride or, or, uh, or, or the pack, yeah. right? And that's you, right? So you eat, and dog watch you. Why do you, you know? And they wait. And if they don't wait, you know, and jump and on well, the table and go, well, you know, you, you kick their ass, right, so to speak. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 so they wait, 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 and then when you when you're done eating, you know, let's say I have eight dogs, so I little tiny morsels of food I left. Uh -huh. And everyone gets one little morsel. In your case, it was two dogs. Yeah. And uh, and uh, the dog come and they gently kind of pick it up. Yeah. Right from, you know, sometimes the dogs is a little bit too 
crazy, I'll hand it to him with a fork, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to get bloody yeah. fingers. And uh, uh, because I get anxious. Yeah. And uh, so I grab it, especially when there's another dog around. So be yeah, careful when, I, when you do that. I guess you said you got bit like that. Yeah, right? he bit me with his incisors. And I mean, he's he's so gentle. He, he just got excited about his food and just like, wham. He's well, strong. you remember dogs, if they yeah. bite you, they always knew what they did. That's what know? Hans so, said. He goes, he knew what he... Yeah, it's not like that they would made mistake yeah it's like you know if i if i put a glass of water on a desk in front of you and you reach for it you don't miss yeah. right you just grab the glass same thing with the dog when you want to grab your finger you don't know yeah you know yeah. and don't make any excuses that's a different story so but 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 when you give the dog that little morsel of the food yeah. you know last piece it's like when that lion or the wolf walks away from the kill uh, yeah. from the kill you know from the carcass and then next one down the line comes or they all come in right yeah and they they um now they can eat yeah right and um and it's actually bonding experience and the way you can establish leadership position yeah you know, and it's not like people say, well, I don't want my dog's bag, you know, and all that. When I do it, once they le learn what's going on, that they have to wait. I, when I eat, you know, I have eight dogs in my house and uh, they all kind of lay around and wait. Yeah. Until I'm done, I say, come on, guys. And I, everybody gets a little piece from whatever is left. Yeah. To, you know, yeah. and, and, and it's a bonding experience. Yeah. And I'm as a leader, and, and again, I like to talk about this a lot. I bring oxytocin a lot. Yeah. And oxytocin gets secreted when um, you give them the treat. Just like mother, when she regurgitates whatever she killed for the puppies, because that's what wolves do. They go and they kill a rabbit or something, and the mother eats it, right? Yeah. And then she comes to the den and the puppies lick her under the chin, yeah. and uh, and she regurgitates it, right? Yeah. And 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 mother and puppies, that's that's a bonding experience mm -hmm. again. Yeah, it's put, it's so deep, yeah. right? And and it's really strong, right? Yeah. And uh, it it induces oxytocin in the mother and in the puppies. Yeah. So oxytocin is bonding hormone. Mm -hmm. And I always talk about, don't look at dog like some kind of a tool. You know, I always, when I hear people say, oh, my dog is a tool, like a law enforcement is saying that. And I understand what they mean by that, but, sure. but it should not be just a tool. You should, you should be a partner. Yeah. It's a force multiplier. You're a team. Yeah. You know, so, so when they have to wait, it's it's genetically embedded in the canines or so or the people who I mean people the animals who live in a pack mm -hmm. or or pride or, or group you know um, for millions of years yeah you know they got to and so they so 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 by doing that you are establishing leadership position yeah and bonding with your pack. Yeah. Being a one dog or two or five, yeah, doesn't matter, you know. Yeah, and so so from that point of view, I think it's a good thing, you know, to give a dog after you're done eating, okay, a little leftover or something, and I always make sure there's a little leftover. Yeah. Uh, it's, sh and it's called sharing. It's sharing. actually in psychology, okay? Hans talked also about, um, this kind of relates to going into the woods, go camping with your dog. Yeah. That, that's part of yeah, when you, you cook. Yeah, you cook it, food on a and fire you, and eat yeah, and all yeah. that and then give the yeah, dog. same concept there. His share, yeah. And he also told me, because I have two dogs, is that <clears throat> if you have multiple dogs, for, go, go with one dog, Sometimes just to keep to go camping to go mean. camping and yeah. then you can bring the other one But right you said it's a little stronger yeah, spend bond. some time uh, just one-on-one one-on-one. On one. Yeah, and yeah, so anyway. Yeah, no, it's a, that's a that's a good one. Um, yeah, I, th I think people um, 
the reason I want to record this episode because, well, first of all, it just happened, so it's fresh in our head, but also as a, it was a good, great learning or lesson for me. Just and Hans talks about these things, but you know we need to get reminded that with with learning, there's you cannot hear something in, enough times. I think when you're a teacher too, to tell your students, I think that's one of the things that Hans is good with. That is, you got to repeat, you repeat, repeat. Yeah, you usually to, you know, it takes about at least six times to say something before it starts sinking in sinking with in. people. Yeah, with many things, it's not just yeah. dog training; it's just yeah. like in learning general. So. I learned that a long time ago. I don't expect people to get it on first time. Yeah, I used to, but that was unreasonable. Yeah, it's just not gonna. He calls us, not calls us, but when we do training, too, we have the tunnel vision, you know, and it, it just it, it that's a tough one to kick. Yeah. Right, it's a tough one because you're under pressure. Dog is barking. Hans is barking. Oh, doing protection, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Hans is yelling. Dog is barking. They put a little stress, stress. on you. Yeah. People don't yell at me, and then yeah. they quit. I said, don't quit. I'm just yelling at you. Put stress on you. Yeah, you always explain You always explain afterwards, like, hey, I didn't... Well, if I explain it at first, it no, won't yeah, work, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, good. you got you to gotta go out there and, and, and raise hell and all that. And, well. and people go, oh, shit, I'm scared of Hans. Well, if you and I said, okay, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just part of the training. Yeah, yeah. I'm just the drill sergeant putting yeah. pressure on you. Yeah. yeah but, uh, you know, well, there was a point for drill sergeants, you know. For, for that particular. Yeah, for now, now, you know, of course, in today's army, you I know, know, the yeah. drill sergeant got to be all gentle yeah. and all that and not hurt somebody's feelings so they don't cry like, you know, some Marines. The army or Marines or whatever. You say, yeah, they cry. Like, uh, like, what about when they start shooting at you? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's now like, you are in real yeah. stress, yeah. you know. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. Yeah. And stress is stress, you know. You just got to yeah. deal with stress as such, not just particular stress, but stress, stress. as such. We talked about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of off yeah, the topic. Yeah, it's kind of off topic, but... Uh, um, but it's it seems like it's it's what it will be probably one of the shorter episodes, but I think it's such an important one. Yeah, it's really you important, know? right? It's another thing is speaking of food when you're feeding the dog, right? Uh, don't mess with the dog, let them have the damn food. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. You know, people say, Well, I should be able to get the food away from the dog. I said, What, what, what? okay, you should, but why should you, you know, yeah. and all that? You're actually making dog food aggressive by doing that, yeah, you know, especially if it's a stronger dog. And then people say, Oh, my dog is so food aggressive, yeah, you know, you start taking my steak away, you will see what I do with my fork. That's right, <laughs> take his coffee. I away. got, I got blocked a band out of Facebook for a month because I said, uh, that if you try to take steak away oh. from me, that I'm gonna <laughs> stab you with my fork. <laughs> Uh, aggression. Yeah, aggression. Oh, it was yeah. just a joke. Yeah, you, know, you can't even joke anymore. Yeah, but food, food aggression. Maybe that could be a. But that's what the dog does, also. right? You taking, keep taking it away, and some, you know, some dogs are just like uh, they can put up with it for a while, mm. but you keep doing it because you you want to test it, like I, I, for I what, you yeah. know, like some people I know. Yeah. And, and, and finally, the dog loses his shit and yeah. comes after you because, you know, let's leave my food. Yeah. You know, and people say, see, he's food aggressive. So you just made him that. Yeah. Right? So you can have a child, too. You got to tell, do not mess with the dog when he's eating. Like, you right, have to teach your right, kids, too. Right, right. You know, and unfortunately, a child can do no wrong and everybody blames the dog. Yeah. You know, it's like teaching, letting kid play on a freeway and then blame the car who hit him. Yeah. Which hit him, you know. Yeah. You know, there's certain things you just should not do. Yeah. You know, so the dog eats, let him eat. Let him eat. Yeah. You know, well, they, they how, eat would you so feel, fast. how would you feel when I would take your T bone and start gnawing on it? Yeah. You know, and they eat so fast, it only takes a minute, not even under a minute or whatever to eat their food. They're done. They're, that's yeah, one and it's minute. Their, it's their private little moment. Yeah. You know, it's just of their thing, you know, so yeah. leave them alone, you know. Yeah. Speaking of food. Yeah. Okay. okay. I guess we covered all three things. Yeah. You know, so we have the. Reward for performance, yeah, which, which I'm against. Yeah. Then we have the the bonding, and then yeah. we have if the dog eats, just hey, leave it, leave it alone. Feeding, you know, just yeah. leave him alone. Good. Okay. Good advice. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Hans. Um, if you like this episode, please 
subscribe, share, all those uh, good things. Hans actually has a, a video uh, instructing if you have a puppy, how to feed them, how raw. to start raw, how to introduce them to raw. It's a really good video. Yeah. It's, uh, um, there's some things in there that I think you definitely, if you have a friend, let's say, make sure you uh, go to Hans's website, which is L um, the new website is Alpine K9 yeah, Al Real. Alpine K9 Real is the uh, education website, and the videos are there. They're downloadable. You can leave them in your library. The cool thing with the downloadables now is that because a DVD is you can lose a DVD. Like, oh, I lost my DVD, but here you have a library and just it's in there, so you can never lose your your uh, your video. So make sure you check that out. And he's got all sorts of other great videos, obedience, personal protection, and and all those things. So please visit that, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, and watch other podcasts. I think you may enjoy them. Yeah, they're free. They're free. Yeah. So enjoy all the podcasts and and leave a leave a leave a question if you have a question or. Whatever you want to leave uh, underneath it, but <laughs> yeah, make it make it positive. Make it positive. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough negativity out there, so if you're negative about it, don't leave a comment. <laughs> I mean, whatever you can leave uh, it, but I don't. If care. you have questions which you don't yeah. understand, I'll answer. But yeah, don't call me names. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys.